Hello, I am Nitesh Pradhan from Lab UN Multisim. It is second lecture series where you can understand how can we use the flex logger. Using the flex logger, you can acquire the data very easily, very easily. And using the flex logger, you can store the data in TDMS file or in Excel file very easily. You can configure your hardware very easily using flex logger okay if you know if you don't want to write any kind of the program and only acquire the data and check the data you can display the data and okay so you can use this flex logger and it will help you a lot so let's see how can we use the flex logger it is second video of this series so let's start come into the your computer type here to search in right hand side sorry left hand side you will see and you can search here and i flex logger so when you will get an i flex logger double click and open it and i flex logger double click and open it when you will launch the flex logger so it will take few seconds and you will get a flex logger window like this it is my flex logger window so here i am going to open this flex logger okay and now it's completely flex logger window so in this window a window here you will get a file in this file you will get a new project you will get a new you will get an open project new and open project two things you will get here here you will get edit project view okay workspace so uh palettes navigation palette configuration palette and so and hide all here so now here now data logging projects you can create a data locking project from here either you can create a new project from here you can create okay so for that click here and come into the project so to open project you need to press ctrl shift plus new uh, let's try to uh, control shift and n control shift n either you can come into the file and and you can create a project so here it's creating a project for me now here we are trying to find out there is no device is detected okay now you can see loading projects it's create it's loading a project and our system and this system is showing there is no device detected means my system is not connected with any device okay now my system is not connected with any device i will show you in the next video how can we connect a device and how can we configure the device here so now you can see here it is a my untitled project flex logger it is my untitled project flex logger with okay in the in this untitled project flex logger you can see here it is file from here you can see or uh, you can create a new screen okay you can open a new screen we'll see later about the new screen you can open a, a project okay you can add any file close a chat okay close channel specification close all document okay close projects save and print now edit in this edit undo redo and others and run so now i cannot run my system i i cannot run my uh i cannot run my system here why because there is no any hardware are present i didn't connect any kind of real time hardware real time hardware means i uh right now my okay right now i don't have any national instruments uh, hardware usb daq hardware or pci hardware USB DAQ hardware, PCI DAQ hardware, or you can say ki CDEC module, Ethernet based CDEC module, uh, you, okay, and serial module also, and PXI. I didn't, okay, I don't have any hardware. I didn't connect any hardware right now. That's why I'm getting no device selected. So, channel specification is clear. Now, data logging. Let's go to the data logging. Maybe it's okay. Let's go to the data logging login specifications yeah so when you will come into the login specifications you can see here tdms logging you can see here the tdms lo logging right in this tdms logging now you can see a batch path okay base path now you can see see you now you can see here my computer in c drive user of document is flex logger here it's it's going to uh, here that is my path and file name will be log file year month and date yes log file year month and date if you want so you can write any description as per your requirement you can write any kind of description here 
okay so whatever the uh, data will record it whatever the data you will record that's record that recorded data will uh, come up with the year first like 2022 month is 11 and day is 27th yes uh, 2022 11 month 27 date and then hours then minute and then second you will get the data logger okay file name with the tdms right now if you want to create a backup file so you can click here to create a backup okay if here if you can click a back, uh, click here for backup okay now that's not important if you want so you can uh, you can click on the segment into the multiple files and uh, as per the 100 mb or as per the 200 mb it will uh, when the uh, file when the mb size will exceed it will create a new file okay it will create a new file when the uh, create a new file mb size will exceed it will create a new file file so that is not also an important thing now for us for most of the experiment it will not important so now the most important thing is csv file dot csv file okay if you will click here dot csv file if you will click here the dot csv file so you can see file will be saved on the specified tdms login in base by directories so that means in the same directories in the same directories and with the same name it will create a dot csv file okay uh, the file path is there and uh, in file path is here a uh, base path and uh, file name is will this one with the dot csv file now you can set your hertz 100 hertz 2 kilohertz and you can set your more pre preference also you can you can give the more preference also okay here but that is uh, not uh, important for the a beginner person now here you can give the property values i don't want to give the asus i want to give the nites here. nites and and it nites sorry nites and p sorry due duty due device uh, unit testing uh, so uh, that will be our temp temp so here i can set a properties right and you can set your uh, triggering you can set here the trigger stop and trigger start and stops uh, okay you can set but i uh, for the initial uh, initial condition it is not important so we'll discuss later on okay so for the data logging the most important thing is uh, path path is uh, mentioned here it will it will automatically declare a path on your computer also inside the document data logger data file and you can select the uh, tdms and uh, this uh, path now uh, text is specific and this is not important for now a screen right a screen is important here in this in this screen if you you will not get any kind okay in this screen you will not get any kind of the uh okay it uh block diagram okay here you can see here this is my screen and uh, this look like my labview nxg style if you can take any kind of the numeric yes numeric indicator you can take any kind of numeric indicator now this numeric indicator will not execute because the channel is not connected there is no channel specified what is the okay what is the beautiful thing uh, in this uh, flex logger uh, the beautiful thing is if you will take any kind of a numeric any kind of indicator so automatically it will target that uh, channel where you want from uh, you want to Matter data. Suppose I have the USB DAQ USB 29 sorry 9174. I have USB DAQ 9174 and I want and inside the 9174 I have one temperature sensor and the temperature sensor name is 919213. I want to acquire data from there. So using this you can directly target to that particular sensor. So uh, later we will discuss. Okay. Now here you can come here and you can take this waveform graph okay long history chart high uh, high speed graph okay so here i can take this one and i can place when i will place it will also ask it will also ask me to uh, connect this platform okay it will also ask me to connect this platform with the uh, hardware but this no channel is configured why because the hardware is not present so it is an overview of our uh, it is a overview of our uh, this uh, flex logger in the next uh, video we will see how can we uh, how can we configure the data how can we configure the data so thank you for watching this video in the next video we will go ahead